Hi, I'm Louie, a product specialist at Growing Spaces. Uh, it's July 13th, 2015, and today we're going to speak about uh, pests in your growing dome. Uh, these tomato plants have spider mites. Uh, we were alerted to them by some yellowing of the leaves, uh, some stippled effects. You'll actually see some uh, yellow dots here on the leaves. And actually, you can see the insect, the insect larva, and some webbing of the pests. Uh, we're going to try a homemade uh, remedy using Dr. Bronner's peppermint soap. And we're going to spray that to the plants and get rid of the spider mites. So we've mixed some Dr. Bronner's peppermint soap in this sprayer here. Uh, we went two tablespoons for a quart of water. Um, you want to toss the sprayer too, not shake vigorously, just to mix the solution in there. And if you can, get one of these sprayers for your garden. It's a great tool to have. But you just want to spray the plants heavily. You really want to saturate the areas that are infected with the mites. Uh, this soap is going to actually break down the uh, natural outer coating of the insects. And then because they lose that outer coating, they're going to die from rapid dehydration. You can add uh, some cinnamon or some red pepper flakes to help deter future infestations. But if you're just doing the Dr. Bronner's, you want to do this about once a week. And if you can, you want to spray early in the morning when the sun's not high and hot and just get a nice good coating of the spray on all the leaves of the plants. So again, we kind of noticed there was a, a slowing of growth for these plants. Um, the yellowing of the leaves here, and again, that stippled effect, so you can kind of see that the spider mites are attacking these leaves. So you really want to saturate these leaves, and you want to get the undercoating of the leaves, because that's where the uh, insect larva is going to be. And this is a completely organic spray, so it's going to be safe for you to uh, pick the tomatoes off and eat them. So good preventative maintenance from keeping this from happening is watering regularly because uh, dry, dusty soil and hot climates uh, are uh, beneficial to the mites. And then uh, you want to make sure your plants are, uh, have a steady flow of nutrients because uh, malnutrition plants uh, are susceptible to bug infestations. So again, good preventative maintenance is doing something like this spray regularly, like once a week, and also keeping your soil moist and uh, having the appropriate nutrients for your plants. All right, so it's been three days in the dome. Uh, we've seen a significant reduction in the insects on the tomato plants here. We are gonna reapply uh, three days and, and go uh, sooner than the week we mentioned earlier, just because it was such a heavy infestation on these plants. Uh, we did eradicate the first batch of insects, but there's still larvae that are going to hatch and create another infestation. So you really want to keep up with them uh, if you see an infestation like this. Otherwise, if you're just doing preventative maintenance once a week with the Dr. Bronner, should be fine. And another benefit of using or organic sprays like this is the chemical sprays. Uh, not only kill the mites that you're trying to get rid of, but it's also going to kill any be beneficial insects that will prey on the mites. So we just finished our second application of the Dr. Bronner spray. Um, we're really going to try and get rid of these pests. Once we have them under control, we'll go to about once a week with a spray like this. Uh, when you do apply sprays like this, you want to get the first spray, which are going to get the insects that you see. But then again, you do want to reapply to attack any larva that's going to hatch and uh, create the cycle all over again. So thanks for joining us. Um, check back with us again on our next video blog and have a great day. Happy gardening.